Hey guys, welcome back to NBA Hub. Today, we will talk about 11 of the fattest NBA players in history. Let's head into it. Number 11, Stanley Roberts. According to some, Stan could have been the man. He had the potential to be one of the best centers in the game. Even Sports Illustrated compared him to fellow LSU player Shaquille O'Neal. Later on, they also compared him to Fat Albert. Of course, like a lot of guys in this list, the potential gets weighed down by excess weight. He was notoriously known for being out of shape, weighing as much as 345 pounds. This led to a long list of injuries during his 9 years in the NBA. Not only did Stanley miss games through injury, he was also banned for violating the league's drugs policy. He smoked weed throughout his time in the NBA. This is probably the first time that the munchies ruined a career. Number 10. Michael Sweeney Michael Sweeney spent just 4 years in the NBA, making him another first round bust. He was drafted 9th overall out of Georgetown, where he averaged a very solid 18.2 points per game. Sweeney was listed at 275 pounds during his playing days. He looked well and truly over 300. Last we heard, he was hopping in Uruguay, and images suggest he's closing in on 400 pounds. Is that even possible? Number 9. Glenn Davies Big Baby Davies is probably the most famous big big man of the decade. He's been big his entire life. In fact, when he was 9 years old, he was so big that he had to play with the older kids, which probably helped him develop his game quicker than those his age. Legend has it that a teenage baby got in a wrestling match with the then 325 pounds Shaquille O'Neal at an LSU camp where he allegedly lifted and body slammed the Hall of Famer to the ground. Not that Shaq would ever admit to that. Number 8. Greg Ostertag Greg Ostertag is the poster boy for big, clumsy, white basketball players. That's no mean feat considering there's been a few hundred contenders over the past few decades. But that didn't stop the 7 foot 2, 280 pounds beast putting his size to good use. On the defensive side that is. This guy was one of the biggest offensive liabilities in history, never managing to average double digit points per game in a single season. Somehow, the Jazz never had a losing season with him at the five, earning himself a cult-like following along the way. Number 7. Bryant Reeves Bryant Reeves looks like Greg Ossetag's uncle, the one that lives out in a trailer in the boonies, the one that gets rowdy at family barbecues. Fittingly, Reeves was nicknamed Big Country because he did actually grow up in a small town in Arkansas, but it might have been because he looks like a giant redneck. But like all 7 foot plus white guys in the NBA, he was extremely awkward and uncoordinated. He did manage to string some okay seasons together, but he only managed Six years in the majors. Number 6. Robert Trailer. Coming in well over 300 pounds at one point during his career, you can see why he got the nickname Tractor. He's the first guy I can recall who ever got axed from a team for not passing a team's physical examination. That team was the Nets in 2005. Very tragically, Trailer passed away at the age of 34 from a heart attack in his apartment in Puerto Rico where he was playing pro hoops at the time. Number 5. Craig Smith. Craig Smith, lovingly known as Rhino, better than Hippo, right? Wasn't a big deal going into the 2006 draft, but being pick 36, you knew he was going to be a solid player. And we mean that every sense of the word. He only ended up playing six seasons in the NBA, averaging 7.6 and 17 minutes a game. He ended his career, Israel, back in 2015. Number four, Jerome James. Jerome James remains at the center of one of the worst deals in NBA history. In a classic classic New York move, the Knicks inexplicably gave the man they call Big Snacks a ludicrous $30 million over 5 years. This was after a mediocre 5 years at Seattle. Before that, he played in Montenegro and France. One year with the Kings, but before all that, he was with the Harlem Globetrotters. Towards the end of his career, he was traded to the Bulls, but he never played a game. But here, in his media day photo, you can see just how big the center was circa 2009. Number 3. 3. Sean May You've got a feel for Sean May. He was the man during his 2005 NCAA championships with the Tar Heels, winning most outstanding player of the tournament. The expectations were sky high. He even won the Summer League MVP in 2006, but microfracture surgery on his knee during his second season completely changed the trajectory of his career. His time on the sidelines led to weight gain and a lack of stamina, and he never returned to his promising potential. 
Number 2. John Williams What's there to do in Indiana? Not much. Quite obviously, Big Johnny eats when he's bored, so it's no surprise John Williams ended up looking like this. I mean, he was always a big dude when he joined the NBA in 1986, but this was next level. The 12th overall pick in the 1986 draft never quite lived up to expectations. Perhaps the downfall started when he won the USA's Boys McDonald's All-American Game MVP. The prize looks, it might have been a literal lifetime supply of Mickey D's. What do you think about these NBA players? Do you agree that they should definitely lose some weight? Let us know in the comments section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.